Jane Etna Hunter was born on December 13, 1882 at Woodburn Farm near Pendleton, South Carolina to Harriet Milner, a freeborn daughter of free slaves, and Edward Harris, the son of a slave woman and a plantation overseer. Jane Edna Hunter's mother arranged for her to marry at the young age of 10 years old to a man 40 years older than her. This was a loveless marriage, and after 14 months, it collapsed. She was never remarried, and she did not use her failed marriage as a burden. She went on with her life and accomplished a lot as a single African-American woman in the early 1900s. The Phyllis Wheatley Association was established in 1911 in Cleveland as the Working Girls Home Association by Jane Edna Harris Hunter. Hunter created the Phyllis Wheatley Association to help and house unmarried African American women and girls. With 1,500, she first opened the Working Girls Home Association, a boarding home for 10 women at the East 40th North of Central Avenue. Later that year, a two-story building at the 2265 East 40th Street was purchased and named the Phyllis Wheatley Association in honor of a late 18th century Boston slave who was considered the first African-American poet. Hunter graduated in 1905 as a trained nurse from Hampton Institute in Virginia and then migrated to Cleveland, Ohio as a 23-year-old single African-American woman. When she arrived in Cleveland, she could not find a decent house or professional work because of segregation laws and practices. Her first housing was a place where prostitutes lived. With the help of other women, they opened the Working Girls Home Association to build a safe residence for the homeless, unprotected, newly arriving African-American women and working women like herself. Later that year, the Phyllis Wheatley Association was purchased. Hunter graduated in 1905. The number of residents soon strained the capacity of the 23-room house. By 1917, the association purchased a three-story building to house 75 at the northwest corner of East 40th and Central. An adjoining building purchased in 1919 housed social and educational activities and the Stevens School of Music. The home provided a wholesome atmosphere and a vocational training. She accomplished a lot within her years. She was awarded the NWACP Springer Medal, wrote an autobiography called The Nickel and Prayer, published in 1940, established the Phyllis Wheatley Association, which functioned as an employment agency and summer camps to help evaluate African-American women and children. She had a building named after her in honor of her work with children and families, and there was a museum named after her called the Jane Edna Hunter Museum. Questions for the class. Where was Jane Edna Hunter born? How many rooms were in the first Phyllis Wheatley Association house? What was the original name of the association Hunter established? What award did Hunter receive from the NAACP?